Whoa! All right, guys, Kettle Boy 32 here. I can never do that right. Check it out. So, sitting here testing out a really cool optic by the guys over there at Primary Arms. That's right, Primary Arms. This is the Cyclops HG. Pretty cool thing. We're going to see where this guy goes. I'm going to do some testing on it. It may come out in the near future. But what we're doing today is I'm actually going to show you a new set of hearing protection from a company called HearGuards. HearGuards.com. HearGuards.com. All right, so what this is, this is a local gentleman to the Charlotte, North Carolina area. And uh, I've seen him several times. His name is Gary. You've actually probably seen a video of me running through the guys down there at Point Blank Range. And uh, what these are, these are professionally made hearing protection that is formed up to your hearing ear canal. Now, I didn't want to initially just put these things out. I wanted to use them for a, a length of time. I have taken the liberty of shooting with these in a three-gun competition where, in fact, I forgot to bring my other uh, hearing protection, which meant that I practically had to wear these uh, for the entire day. And I did. And the cool thing about them is that they are form-fit to your ears, which give you the greatest amount of protection, uh, especially when there's no way the air or anything else. These will go all the way down almost to the earplug. And you put them in just like this, and it wiggle, 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 wiggle. And it takes a bit to get comfortable with them. But I will tell you this. I wore these guys all day long. And after they are in your ear, as you can see, like this and like this, you literally don't know that they're in. You just, you know that you can't hear hardly anything. But the cool part about it, they're so comfortable, I never really had to take them out. Uh, another one of the cool things about it is you could still hear people talk, but the gunfire. Am I hitting that piece of steel mm -hmm. at all? Yeah. These are some plus P rounds. Those are the ones I was talking about. The, but the thing is, is that they are so comfortable that you literally forget that they're in. There's no pressure from a foamy that's continuously in expansion mode. Uh, and that's it. Can you hold that for me, please? So we're actually out here today, in the next couple months, at least until October, until we get ready, we're training for the Snipers Unknown. Got this little guy right here. This is my uh, SIG, what the hell is it, X5 Legion. And uh, we're running the uh, Leopold Delta Point Pro. But this is... This is a completely different answer. Uh, right in the shin. But this is a, with the plus P ammo. And the reason I did that is with the comp compensator on that guy right there. But I was just uh, out here testing around. I wanted to show you these things. Now, I want you to keep in tune because I've got a full blown uh, makeup. I'm gonna, I videotaped how these things were made. Gary goes through the whole process. So here we go. This ought to be fun. At least I hope it is. You guys enjoy. Stand by. Two, one. All right, guys, got a boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at Point Blank Range in Matthews, North Carolina. Now, I will tell you this. I have come here for many years. And on those visits, particularly on Sundays, I just see this gentleman right here. This is Gary Crowley with Hear Guards. And uh, I've often wondered. He was always handing me a card, you know, never been pushy or anything else like this. But... Uh, I uh, eventually I was like you know what well let's find out what this is all about so I started talking with Gary and I got the inside story and I thought it'd be a really cool deal to share with you one thing there's two things you can't get back well one you can get a new eye but why want to want to go through that pain in the ass process two hearing uh, right now I have tinnitus I have ringing this 24 7 it doesn't matter if I'm sleeping I'm standing here I'm hearing it and you just get used to it but why put yourself into that type of a situation so i was intrigued to see what gary had here and i've seen a lot of competitive shooters wear these things as well as other professionals so i was like you know what i'm gonna stop and ask him gary it's a pleasure meeting you today man how you see doing you. very well thank you do me a favor real quickly if you would let's give everybody a real quick rundown on 
where you came from, sure. the history behind the company, okay. and uh, your product. We'll do a yeah. real quick review of the stuff that's going on here, and then Gary's going to set up a set for me, and we're going to do it on camera, so it's pretty cool. Go ahead. Sure. Well, I, I got a set of these for industry. I came out of industry, started in the textile industry, and sold my business in 2005, and then went into to, uh, uh, technology integration. Um, Basically, my best vendor hired me, mm -hmm. and then I left that industry or, or sold the last patents out of the, the company that I sold in 2005, and was Mr. Mom for a while. Oh, yeah. I am a terrible Mr. Mom. Mm -hmm. I, uh, <laughs> what I tell people all the time, and this is kind of funny, but it's not. I'm sure there's a guy out there who's a very effective Mr. Mom and is as, as good as his, his wife or his partner. Mm -hmm. And we could be friends, but I've just never met him. I, I it, it was just not me. That's that's, so, that's the industry I, standard in the, the firearms group. Well, there right. might be a one or two, but like you, I've never yeah, met that I, guy. I can't, I, I can't do it. Anyhow, I've seen uh, when I got this, uh, I, I, I bought a set of these mm -hmm. for, and, and had them made um, at a gun store and used them in industry and loved them and kind of kept in touch. And then... It was a husband and wife team. Mm -hmm. She made hearing aids. He made earplugs. Okay. And they decided to retire, go back in the restaurant business, and uh, trade me and, and, and let me run with it. Outstanding. And I've, uh, I changed the name and changed some of the processes and tuned it a little bit to industrial uh, efficiency is, mm -hmm. I, I guess, what you want to call it. But the, right. What I like about it is that I can get my whole head around it. It's, it's not... It's complicated, but it's complicated enough that you, you know you have to have a a lot of knowledge, and you have to have a, a the right training right. and and certification and everything to be able to 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 make your plugs. All right, fantastic. So I tell you what's going to happen. Also, if you're interested, uh, Gary, you go to a couple of other locations also, right? I do. Okay. Would you uh, like to share those with the folks? Yes. I, I, on Saturdays, I try to be at Carolina Sporting Arms in Charlotte. That's over there off of South Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And on Sundays, I try to be at, at Point Blank and Matthews. Okay. Are there any other locations that you deal with? Uh, not right now. I not do right an awful now. lot of industrial. Well, We're in NASCAR country, and oh, I do a lot boy. of NASCAR shops. Oh, the, very the, cool. The people that work um, in the plant mm -hmm. uh, are obligated to need yeah. earplugs, and because these are so much more effective and comfortable, mm -hmm. a lot easier to get compliance with I, I used to work in the uh, manufacturing facility, and... Uh, I was a project manager for a company and we did a bunch of stuff, but when you have a certain decibels above 90, I right. think you, you had to have hearing protection and we just wore hearing protection no matter what. Now, right. what I also want to do is we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of one, having these is a great advantage over the simple conical style cone or right. the foamies. What's the advantages well, of these? Let, let me get a set and I'll, okay. it, it's easier to, to describe it. Uh, I made these pink because I'm sensitive. Uh-huh. Uh, I like them too. Yeah. Well, I don't, okay. I don't really have pink anymore because, uh, well, I just, you know, you just don't well, sell a whole lot of them. To, people can see to them gun sure. Guns. Yeah. That's sure. This, your, your ear canal is an oval or some form of an oval, mm -hmm. and the foam plugs are round. Right. You, you, you have to squeeze the foam plug and put it in your ear, and there's about a fifth, the Navy, Naval Research and OSHA Research uh, indicates that it, you've got about a half of, a 50% chance of putting them in wrong. OSHA derates the foam plugs mm -hmm. by about 50%, okay. not about 50%, by 50%. Mm -hmm. So whatever you think you're getting, in the recordable is half of that and okay. that's just not the case with well, well, your, well fitting customs that's like uh, it's a foam insert all, and all, it, you know it's like filling the crevices of the insulating of the house um, if when you sit something in there it can only expand so far mm -hmm. you're only going to get the insulation value that it expands to this right. is covering all the, the crevices the, every, the, the nannies the little itty bitty parts in it right it it fits every curve and crevice and everybody's everybody's ear is different on one hand but they're also the same mm -hmm. in that there are bends in it and that kind of takes me to the next point mm -hmm. here's the idea there we go. That's okay. ready let's hold it up not right there i want to okay. keep it right in the middle there we go all right okay. uh, can, 
let's let's consider all of this area to be cartilage. Mm -hmm. Somewhere down in here, all of this is bone. Right. So think of a cork in a in a uh, bottle. Okay. I want to put the end of the earplug down in the cartilage bone junction, about two millimeters into the cartilage bone junction, and still about three to four millimeters away from the, the eardrum. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that depth gives you a little bit of cushion on the bone, and it stops the air and the sound waves carried on the on the air. Oh, okay. So that that's kind of how it works. Let's see here. Yeah, see that? Look at that thing. Yeah. That, That's some nasty stuff right there, man. And you know what? I did take the liberty of cleaning my ears before I came in here, at least to the yeah. best of my abilities. Right. So one of the things, yeah, if you want to come in and get a pair of these made, make sure your ears are clean. It's just nasty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, I'm going to look at your ear, ears in a minute, and okay. I need to be able to see the entire eardrum, mm -hmm. or I won't proceed. Yeah. Because so I, I'm easy to find. And that's really what separates me from the do-it-yourself kind. You right. can't see inside your own ear, and you so, certainly can't get deep enough to do what these I, do. I have tried to do the do-it-yourself stuff, mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that you put in the hot water and then you stick it in there. And everything was fine until it went uh, solid, and all of a sudden all there was so many gaps in there, it just it wasn't even funny. So right. anyway, one of the things that Gary did when we first met was he set me down, had to make sure that I was a good candidate for his earplugs because there may be some people out there that are not able to uh, use these things to their full potential. Right. Okay. All right, well, let's... Uh, I, because I'm so easy to find and I, uh, every, everybody's going to be happy, mm -hmm. or, you know, you're going to be happy or you can keep the plugs and I'll give you your money back. There you go. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to grab the camera. And I would like for you, if you would, let's go through some of the process, some of the equipment, some of the sure. things that set you apart from the other folks in the industry. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Look in the air with the notoscope. Want to see the entire eardrum. Want to see the consistency down the walls of the ear canal. The most important thing, though, is that I need to see a healthy eardrum staring back at me. Next, I'm going to put a cotton ball with a string on it down in your ear. I put the string on there because I like to get everything out that I put in. And I do that at no extra charge. Thank you. <laughs> then I mix the material, the color of your choice. And then I place it in the ear canal. With the, you'll, you'll see all that in a few minutes. Then after eight minutes of cure time, I take them out. Uh, grind them, smooth them up around the perimeter, the outside perimeter, um, clean them up, then coat them, then cook them, and then put them on a lanyard, put them on a, in a custom case. Oh, very nice. All right. So okay. the process takes about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to get started here, and then you get to see the whole process. We may have to go ahead and we'll uh, double up the speed on that thing. We'll be like uh, Grand Thumb when he runs his, his uh, rifle courses. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is Gary's going to take a look in my ears. And I took uh, my hat off. Don't mean to scare anybody, but here we go. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm like having an ear canal inspection. Lots of fun. Looks good. Whew. Oh. Now you don't have to say ah, oh, do I? No. Oh. Do I have to cough? Turn, do I have to look, bend over look, and touch yeah. my toes and cough? No, no. They, uh, they look good. They're not girl clean, but I would expect no. Okay, just yeah. real real man stuff there. Right. That, that, okay, I, I clean them until it hurt, okay? Yeah. So there you go. Well, it, it's, uh, next thing is I'm going to put the, uh, the, uh, Cotton blocks in your house. Oh, great. This is going to be. All right. So, guys, the next step we're going to do is he's going to take the cotton block with the string on it. He's going to insert them halfway into my brain. He's probably going to end up uh, seeing something that might pop out of my nose or something like that. I don't I don't worry too much when I see all the way through. It's oh. when I see come when light comes out of your nose is when we have a problem. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. This is going to be fine. Oh, we're saving. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Just terrified. Well, this is not like when you were a little kid and got your vaccinations. She would say Aww. something like, you're going to feel a little pinch or a little stick. Uh, she had to lie. This is not that. Actually, that feels good. You shouldn't even really feel any pressure. No. Nope. And guys, I'll tell you a little side story. Out in SHOT Show, you'll have people like Gary doing ear probe like this, and they're charging $300 a pop. Gary does them on site here for what, 65? 65. For, for the standard pair. He also has uh, some very expensive stuff with the electronics in it. So you have the uh, electronic hearing, uh, as well as there's another type with the uh, ring around it. And that, Gary's actually wearing those right now. Next, we need to pick a color. All right, guys, I chose the neon yellow simply because I, if I drop these things, I want to be able to find them. How about that? Uh, I will tell you this. When shooting competition, while I'm not actually doing the shooting, I will wear a set of ear pro uh, so that I can hear people talk. Uh, it's always nice to be able to communicate, but when I actually perform the act of shooting, I will wear in the ear earplugs because I don't need the distraction of that hearing protection, the earphones, uh, maybe butting up against the side of the ri rifle or the buttstock and you'll lose the seal. And it sucks if you're shooting from inside of a, a shoot house or a van or a suburban. So it's nice to have this really good sealed area here. Ready? Yes. All right, so the next step Gary's gonna do is I think he's going to in inject the goo into my ear. Not sure how much I like goo being slopped up in there, but you know. I like to do this by hand because I can get the blend and consistency that I'm looking for. Right. I've, uh, I've made about 3,700 sets over the last six years, so I, I just have a feel for it by now. I had to develop a light. Uh, looks a lot like PVC pipe because that's how it started. Now, while this is in your ear, you don't hear you, nothing. Well, you want to keep your game face on. It's a. Uh, I hate to tell you. Yeah, I know. That for it would be a disaster to eat or to chew gum, and basically, I got to do all the talking while this is going on. Mm -hmm. Kind of like at the dentist, he'll fill your mouth with stuff and then ask you a question. So that game face I'm seeing is perfect. I cannot talk while this is going on. Right, we're stuck. Yeah, we're talking like this. Yes, but it's yeah. only about eight minutes. Oh, cool. Which we That's will... That's going to be hard for me. Me too. I've only got about five <laughs> minutes of silence in me. Mmm, I like it. Okay, now I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes. All right, guys, we're back. It's been eight minutes. These things have solidified and they're up in my ear. So the next step, I hope, is to take the things out, right? Yep. Here we go. Welcome back. Oh, no kidding, man. That's wild. So when you do pull these things out, you can realize that, that, that that's amazing. The only thing you hear is your own heartbeat. I, I really, really love this part because you don't know until you know, but now you know everything. Now you know. There you go. All right, so now Gary's pulled these bad boys out of my ears, and let me just tell you something. You really don't understand how silent the world can be until now, and uh, it's kind of frightening. But in any case, uh, what's the next step? Look at that, guys. And, the neon yellow looks good. And that is a significantly different material and significantly different build than you would get if you made them yourself. Yeah, I noticed that and, uh, the stuff that the, the um, and I've tried this thing. And as a matter of fact, I've got one of the kits uh, at home. 
but that material is more is is like a more of a solid material than this is. This is more of a it's a little bit more spongy or yeah. softer, in other words. It's uh, it, it's tuned and tuned and tuned to, to perfect, and uh, that that's why I will not swirl the colors. Mm -hmm. I make it a, a single color because I'm not going to introduce any variation at all. I, I need them to pass military specs over thousands and thousands of tests. Right. Next thing, I'm going to round the end, take off a little bit of the edge. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything to the actual uh, skin to skin fit. Right. This will take about ten minutes. Okay. I will uh, uh, grind them, uh, uh, trim them a little bit, uh, coat them, and then cook them. Okay. Very okay. cool. I. I really don't want to do a gun show. All right, guys, so the process has finished up, and I tell you what, I'm really excited. It's like an info commercial, but not. Um, so it's really cool. Let me show you what uh, Gary's done here. He provides a lanyard right here with a little clip. This is huge for me because when we're out shooting, I can take this and I can put it around here, okay, and I can clip it onto the back of my shirt like this, and I don't have to worry about them going. I can actually tuck them inside my shirt while I'm not using them. Some good stuff. So the lanyard comes with it, but that's what you end up with. And uh, I have not put them in yet. And I'm sure there's a lesson in that. Well, so what, what I'd like you to do at first okay. is hold them down in front of you. Hold them down front like this. In the this. correct orientation. If, uh -huh. if you look, the curve to the back, canal to the front. Yep. That way, if you wanted to take off the lanyard and put them in a helmet or something like that, a motorcycle like helmet, you'll still be able to tell left, left and right. Okay, very cool. So, and also, he color codes. The, uh, the little loops on there, they're screwed into it with red on the right, blue on the left. And we were just talking about that. I said, oh, yeah, like red, right, return. And he's like, yep, motors and airplanes. I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so now we've got them like this. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's in your ear. So you want to tilt it forward about a quarter turn. Like that. And get it in the canal. Push, push, wiggle, wiggle, and oh, push, push, yeah. wiggle, wiggle is a technical term in this in this usage. And hey, you don't have to lick these. Well, uh, uh, using available moisture is an off-label situation, but you got to do what you got to do. And wiggle, wiggle is very important because you want them to see yeah. it. Now, this is very important. Let me get your. Uh, let me get a mirror. I've got a mirror here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, look, look in the look in the mirror here to see what you see. And you can feel around the outside perimeter, mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're looking for. How do they feel? feel I'm, I'm yelling at you a little bit. We're so, shooting. And you still can hear enough, so if you're receiving commands from a uh, range officer, then uh, you're able to hear that. There's not, you're not totally out. Uh, And then to get them out, you just grab it by the material and turn it forward. So it screws into the back, screws out to the front. Mm -hmm. Righty tighty, lefty loose. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then they go in the uh, the case. And then there's a now, nice custom case this, that comes with it. This concludes the my way or the highway portion of a program. Mm -hmm. I like to give my customers the artistic license to put them in the case any old way they want to. People ask, do they go in the in the mesh pocket or not? And I'll leave that to you guys. We'll do it just like that. Very cool. Well, now this will save you mm -hmm. some room in your range bag. Yep. Or your, your and gear also bags. keeps it protected. Right. All right. So retail on these sixty five dollars. Sixty five dollars comes that's out to about sixty nine seventy one. Pretty cool. If you're ever at Point Blank Range or Carolina Shooting Sports, Sporting, Arm. Sporting, Sporting Arms. Sporting Arms. I can never get their name right. Uh, good folks, though, over there off of South Boulevard, and this is down at Point Blank Range down in Matthews, North Carolina. Ask for Gary. He's usually going to be posted on the right-hand side, and usually he's got somebody sitting over here waiting or a line getting plugs, man. All right, so the website is hereguards.com. Check him out over there.
And I'll tell you this, I am really impressed with this. I'm going to be using them this weekend Thank coming you. up. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate your time. And appreciate you stopping by. Yeah. And uh, that's it. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for freedom. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out. Thanks, Gary. Thank you.